Hello, hello, and welcome to this electric range test presented by me, Volvo Christian. And this will be an electric range test only on highway with this V90 Modular 22.5 Recharge T6 all wheel drive. This will be the second attempt today because I already did a highway test earlier this morning, but something went uh, wrong with the with the recordings, so my uh, phone just st stopped uh, like halfway to record and I didn't know that, notice before reaching the end. So I have stopped by Bilia at Follo to charge it up again and take the second attempt. I will uh, show you the results of the first attempt la later in this video. So since this is a Modular 22.5 we have the updated battery that Volvo released for the late production of Modular 22. So here we got the 18.8 kilowatt hours and 14.9 kilowatt hours usable, connected to the enhanced electric rear engine on 145 horsepower and 307 newton. My current charge are almost at 90 percent. So in a few minutes, or maybe uh, one hour, <laughs> we're gonna jump in. Now it's time to uh, start this range test. Let's see if you can check the current estimation. 64 kilometers, estimated range. Let's see. Starting up, and then into driving. Picking pure, and now my range are 65. So let's start. I will be driving in uh, D the whole time. I'm not a fan of the B, that's like a one pedal uh, drive functional functionality, but there's a strong resistance in the accelerator pedal that I'm not a fan of. I like to have it in D because then you can also free roll when you are uh, letting go of the accelerator pedal, then it will just roll. Let's see. I will try to let you uh, see the... Um, speed the whole time and also the road maybe i have to tilt the camera slightly when we get out on the highway as you see i have reset the trip computer to get an accurate uh, reading This exit, I think, yeah. And uh, for this attempt, I'm gonna use the adaptive cruise control when I have uh, entered the highway to see if that's more efficient than my own driving. I can uh, reveal the result from uh, attempt number one earlier today. I managed to drive 68 kilometers. I will put in a picture now of the um, trip computer, but that one says 72 or something because I couldn't stop um, immediately. But it was 68 kilometers, so now I have to check. Uh, Stockholm, Oslo. Going right here. the highway I will activate the adaptive cruise while we look at that uh, cool 
car in front. So I have set the, the adaptive cruise for 5 kilometers over. Now we are bumping up to 90 already, so we can go to 95. So it took 7 minutes to enter this highway. Now it's time to increase the speed uh, even further. We have been on the road for uh, 11 minutes and have now just entered the uh, 110 km per hour zone. I have set the adaptive cruise on uh, 120 and that will give a GPS speed on probably around uh, 115. And we will have this uh, speed probably the whole way now. I think it's a 100 zone. Uh, couple of miles ahead but, or else it's just 110 now so it's 15 degrees uh, in the first run uh, earlier this morning it was 8 degrees and I managed uh, 68 kilometers so now it's uh, slightly warmer and I also have uh, adopted cruise on so let's see how these two will uh, affect uh, the range Currently driven 15 kilometers, an estimated range of 56, probably down to 55 soon. So that should give uh, actually around the same uh, distance as I had in the first attempt. Time for a little uh, update. Uh, my estimated range are now down to 32 kilometers. I have driven, uh, let's see if you can see this, tilt the camera slightly. Let's wait a little second. So, uh, the estimated range 32. And I have driven 46. So that's uh, pretty good. That should mean uh, 78. So 10 kilometers longer uh, than uh, the run earlier today. But let's see, we aren't uh, over yet. The average speed are 95 on yeah, 95 kilometers. The time spent are half an hour. a little stretch of uh, 100 km uh, zone and then it was back to uh, 110 so I'm guessing 110 for the rest uh, of this uh, test I'm down to uh, two kilometers of range, so I will have to take the next uh, exit now. Hopefully, it's coming soon, and before I, my range are uh, gone. So this, uh, I, I actually uh, came further than I thought I would, and I beat the attempt earlier today. Can I get over this hill? One kilometers. Taking it off uh, cruise control. I got 
no cars in uh, immediate uh, behind me. One kilometers. Come on, find an exit. Find an exit. Scheiße. <laughs> no exit nearby. So let's tilt it up. We can open up the trip computer. 77.7. So will we see 78? Hope you can see this. lighting up yet 78.8 79 still running on uh, electricity Let's see if I can find a place to stop open this up again 79.2 9.5 Now I'm just rolling behind this truck 79.8 Very soon can we see 80? Come on, come on, come on Still running on electricity 100 meters, come on 80 kilometers Oh, there we have it Petrol engine kicked in so 80 kilometers. Damn, that's good. And now I can see an exit. So I will take that one. Uh, we saw 80 kilometers before the petrol light, uh, light came up. Now I'm on battery again. But 80 kilometers, all electric. That's mighty impressive with the average speed on 100 kilometers. I think it was just before uh, we lowered the speed. So that's really, really impressive. I'm so amazed by this new powertrain in the V90. So this is the T6 uh, setup. 350 horsepower uh, of system powers but uh, the highlight to the today was of course the battery and the electric engine this is mighty impressive 80 kilometers in this speed and last weekend I managed to squeeze out 88 kilometers with uh, a mixed uh, driving style in uh, Bergen with both city driving some uh, local roads but minimum of highway today it was only highway so this is mighty impressive now it's time for me to uh, head on back to uh, Oslo I have to deliver this v um, V90 back to Bilia in just uh, an hour or two then I have to uh, head to the airport and back to Bergen but let's just uh, absorb this elegant and classy V90 Birch light, metallic, inscription style, running on 20 inch alloys. And thanks so much for uh, watching this video. Really appreciate every like, comment, and if you also consider subscribing to my channel. So we're ending it here with the highway in the background. Thanks for, for watching, take care and bye bye.